Three, two, two one. Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Uh, we are going to be looking over or reviewing and doing a first impressions look with the I Love Sarahi and ColourPop collab. This is Through My Eyes, that is the name of it. Karen and ColourPop did go ahead and make a collection with an eyeshadow palette with 16 shadows, three lippies and a trio, and you get like a kaleidoscope here, but that's not part of the makeup part of it so all right um I believe that the PR set that I got this was $50 but you can get it without the box and the kaleidoscope for $39 it is so cute by the way this like whole package I'll probably keep this box and take like the insert out but emerald green is one of my favorite colors because it is my birthstone so I'm a big fan so when you open it up or when you get the collection this is the lip trio and then through my eyes eyeshadow palette this is a pressed powder palette which means there's going to be some pigments in here and that's why you can't call it an eyeshadow palette and then you have the kaleidoscope which i actually looked through it and it's really cool so let's get into just showing you guys like the pieces before we move on to doing the look so you get the eyeshadow palette and it's about the same size as the shayla color pop you have the colors on the back you do get 16 shadows and i think that the eyeshadow palette alone is 23 so that's really good ColourPop is usually decently priced with their stuff and you get all of these oh my god look at these colors they're so pretty i love them i had a lot of fun making this look using this so let's move to the lip trio it comes in this cute little package it has the colors on the back here you have a gloss you have two mattes not a big fan of the mattes but so we have Dulcet, Glass Lip, and Sueno de Coco, I think I'm saying that right, and the Glass Lip is going to be the Ultra Glossy Lip. So I did decide on this look to use the Dulcet, but these are the three color choices that you get. So all three for the trio, it is 16 but you can buy them separately for $6.50 and the Glass Lip is $6.00. So those are also just their normal prices. And All right, so before we start this video, I do have two things that I need to say. One, I am doing a giveaway for January again. It's going to be a gift card to Ulta. All you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment below with your favorite item in the collection, whether it was the gloss, the lip, or the eyeshadow. Second thing is to make sure you are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss any of my fun, beautiful videos that I upload by hitting the subscribe button at the bottom of this video and the bell next to it so you get notified when I upload, which is right here at 5 p.m. Eastern time every week and to become part of the hive, guys. I mean, why not, right? <laughs> All right, well, there's that. Let's start this video. <laughs> so I went ahead and I zoomed you on in. First thing is first, obviously in the intro you saw me with makeup on and now you do not, so let's talk about the elephant in the room. My face is a little bit red and patchy today because I have started using Drunk Elephant's Retinol Cream and I, I didn't know that I was supposed to only do it like once or twice a week and I actually did it like four nights in a row and it really, really, really like burnt, almost burnt my skin, made it very red, very patchy, very painful. The pain is gone, um, the burning is gone, it's just kind of red still and itchy, so I've been like working with some skincare to try to get it to calm down, so I just wanted to address that before we got into the look. Um, and also, beauty tip, if you're using retinol for, uh, for the first time, please, please, only do it one to two times a week until your skin gets used to it or this is gonna happen. So until my skin calms all the way the f down, this is what we get until I put my makeup on. So let's get into this look. Um, like I said, we are going to be do it using the I Love Sarahi, Sarahi, am I saying that right? Um, through, was it Through My Eyes? Um, this is her and ColourPop's collab, and I think it is absolutely beautiful. It looks beautiful, the colors, are popping and just fantastic so I'm really excited to be using this I did swatch it so if it looks a little bit messy that's why I'm trying to get it so it's not blinding you but it is not letting me do that right there they're really pretty um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be doing so let's kind of just get in here and figure it out so I think the first color I'm gonna go in with is going to be I think I'm 
going to go in with Wild Soul. I do usually tend to go more towards those like mustard yellow colors as a transition. Um, I was in between Sandalwood and Mild Soul. Mild Soul? Wild Soul. And I'm going to go ahead in with my Morphe M330. So, to do. Uh, there is a little bit of fallout, but not too bad. So I'm going to go ahead into the crease as usual, and I'm going to work it on it. All right, so I went ahead and I blended that out on my eyes. It blended out really nicely. It wasn't patchy. I didn't get a lot of fallout on my under eye, but there was a little, uh, a lot of kickback in the pan. So just be careful of that if you decide to get this palette. Uh, it blended well. It's very pigmented. I just keep looking at my skin in the mirror. It's horrendous. Not the mirror. Well, the mirror too, but the monitor. <laughs> Anyways, so now that I have that laid down, I'm going to go ahead in with Euphoric, which is like almost a lighter burnt orange. It's a very pretty color. And I'm going to place that in my crease and blend it up. And we're going to be using my Morphe M513. So I'm going to take my brush and I'm, yeah, I'm getting a lot of kickback from these colors, but that is okay. We will work it out. All right. And I'm going to go ahead and, like I said, put it in the crease and then smoke it up a little bit to that yellow. So I went ahead and I put Euphoric on my inner, in my crease, and then blended it on up. And it actually blended out very nicely. It is blending very well with the other colors. It's not patching off like the other palette I recently used, which is the Kylie and Jordan palette. I'll go ahead and link the video above here. Um, that one kind of was, I had some issues. Just watch it. That's not good. <laughs> but with this one, that color is actually blending out really well. I'm going to go back in with Wild Soul. And I'm just going to go ahead and smooth out the transition between the orange and the yellow. Okay, so as you notice, I always um, go in with that first color again to transition. I don't know if I have said this before, but the reason that I do that is because it really gives that seamless effect and that seamless look between the two colors so you don't look like you have one color, two colors. You know, it's not as sharp. It blends and it makes it like almost like have a gradient effect between the colors. So I think I'm going to go in with um, a deeper, like a packing brush and try to get a little bit darker of that orange in the eye, the euphor euphoric color. So I'm using my double-ended brush by Anastasia. I think this is, what number is this? It doesn't say, but it's literally the brush that comes with every single one of their palettes. It is literally one of my favorite brushes, hands down. Of all the brushes I have, this is my favorite. I like the packing one, okay, but the blending part is my favorite. Let me just go ahead into the inner crease, uh, inside my crease, and build it up just a little bit more. Okay, so I just brought that color a little bit more to life in my crease. These are very pigmented shadows. I am loving them. Like, they're going on so nicely. The only problem I'm having is the kickback in the pan. There is quite a bit of that, uh, but it's not a very expensive palette. So for me, I'm not really too concerned. It is not bad enough to be like this is a no for me so but I'm really I'm just loving it it is really stunning and the colors are blending like a dream so there's that all right so I think I'm gonna go in the mesmerize mesmerize is this like orange gold shimmery beautiful color it's glitter so I am gonna put my morphe eye primer down before I do that so let me go ahead and grab my primer. So let me go ahead and put the concealer. I'm going to put it all on my lid where you don't see color. And then that's where I'll pack on the glitter eyeshadow. to go in with that glitter color 
and it is mesmerize Make sure I say that right <laughs> okay, so I am gonna go in with a Mac 239 and I'm gonna spritz just some setting powder some kind of uh, setting powder I always say that setting spray it's spray just to kind of wet it just a little this is the Tatcha um, luminous dewy mist which I probably shouldn't be wasting on just this but it's the first thing to grab <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and dip in here so there is a lot of kickback with that so be very careful which I figured there would be it's glitter that's definitely something that you have to be aware of so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna tap it on the lid where I just placed that eye primer It's very pretty, lots of fallout, but very pretty. Okay, so I'm having a little bit of trouble where it's not really sticking and it's kind of like the brush is not really placing it on there. I have glitter all over me. So I'm gonna try to go in with my finger and see if that works just a little bit better. a hot mess like it is taking me forever to build it onto my eye I actually hate it at this moment so there's that <laughs> I'm gonna try to get the other eye to at least be covered it's like breaking apart in the pan it's falling all over the place this is a mess so here we go <laughs> okay so I had a very <laughs> very hard time getting this color to stay on my eyes and it literally there's glitter if you could see this there's glitter everywhere um I have made a huge, I don't know if you can see that or not, huge indent to this eyeshadow, um, which kind of sucks because it's like brand new. I don't know if you can see it or not. I'll hold it back here and zoom in a little bit. But it's like a huge indent. I'm hoping that these two don't do that. They look a little bit more fine than that one does, but this flex one almost looks chunky like that, but it's like it just falls out of the pan and it looks so pretty on your hand. It really, really, really does but it's just, it's very hard to get it on to my eye um, like I want it to be. So um, I think that is really all I'm gonna do for my lid. I just wanted to do like a little smoke out and some glitter. I'm just, it's not sticking. I have it all over my lashes. So I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and put the rest of my face on and then we will finish up the under eye and talk about the palette and my impression my first impression on the palette and what I think about it all right guys I'll be right back all right guys so I went ahead and I put my full face of makeup on I also did decide to go in with um Dulcet in the lip trio that she created it is a beautiful color although I do not like color pops liquid or uh, ultra mattes um, I don't like to wear them too long, so wearing it for this video, etc., for a little bit, it's not so bad, but when you wear these for a long time throughout the day, they tend to get really, really dry, so I don't really care for that formula. I do like their Ultra Satins. Um, it also came with another Ultra Matte, and this one is in the color Sueno de Coco. I think I said that right. Hopefully I didn't. Hopefully I did, and I didn't butcher it. So let's look at this color. Since you can see this color on my lips, I'll go ahead and swatch this color on my hand. Almost like some uh, pink undertones, but it's just a nude brown with some pinky undertones. And then it also came with the Ultra Glossy Lip, and this one is Glass Lip. And um, this is the Glass Lip. It is like an orange. Um, it has pink and gold reflex in it. It's very beautiful, and I do like their gloss lips, and I like the applicator, which is similar to the... Kylie Jenner one but it's a little bit weird because I'm pretty sure that they're I'll have to take a look at my other lip glosses came with doe foot applicators so that means they changed it which is a little bit weird to me considering like all the drama around that but let's get back into doing finishing up this eye look I have decided that I'm gonna go in with emerald dream and I'm gonna put it on my lower lash line because it's shimmery it's beautiful and I think it's really gonna pop with that orange and I'm gonna use, I don't have the name, it's just a Morphe pencil brush. Any like smaller brush will work. You just pick it up and kind of tight line and then smoke it out just a little bit. Hold on, I have to get those out because it will drive me crazy. 
All right, so I'm gonna dip in here. It's such a beautiful green, like it really, really is. And I'm gonna go ahead and line my lower lash line. That actually is stunning. And it is not as crazy as this orange color was. It doesn't fall out, it's not real chunky. And it is, oh my God, like it is popping. It's so pigmented. All right, let me go ahead and do the other eye. So Emerald Dream has got to be like my favorite color of this whole palette. And I really cannot wait to do like a full look with this on my lid because it is so pretty. Oh my God, guys. It is, let me just swatch it. Let me just, so you can see it, like really see it. So that, oh my God, look at that. And just, just take a gander. Oh my God, okay. So I think that Karen did a fantastic job picking out the colors and I think ColourPop did a fantastic job formulating them. The only issue, like I said, that I had is going to be with the Mesmerize color and probably I'm thinking that Flex, yeah, so Flex that like golden brown, like almost chrome color is going to do the same thing. See, when I put it here, you can see that it's kind of chunky but it blends out very nicely. So I'm not really sure what it is that I have to do to get this color, the Mesmerize, to sit on my eye the way that I want it to. Let me pull up my sleeve here so I can kinda get it. Cause when I blend it like this, it's really nice and like goes on, but when I try to like put it on my eye, it just does not wanna work. I mean, it's a pretty color, don't get me wrong. It's just, it's too hard to work with where the glitter gets everywhere. So I do recommend if you're gonna use that color or that palette with that color or flex to just make sure that you do not do your makeup first or you're gonna be screwed. Sorry. I'm gonna take a pencil brush and I'm gonna go in with Lucido, I think it is. I'm probably butchering these, so there's that. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead into my inner corner and just brighten it up just a little bit I don't think I need too much because this green and the pop and like gold orange looks really nice. So here we go So I really like this color I did put it on the inner corner of my eyes I think this color could actually probably use be used as like a highlighter. Oh, okay Because it is just it's really blinding and I did like the um, formula of that one as well so it looks like the only ones that you're probably gonna have some issue with are gonna be these two right here maybe work with a wetter brush I mean I did really soak that one flat packing brush and it still really just didn't do what I needed it to do so if you guys know like how to use them better or if there's a special way you're supposed to use them go ahead and comment below and just let me know because they were a hot mess they're flaking everywhere I'm almost like this one is like really indented as if I've had this palette for a while and I just got it so um other than that I just I think it's beautiful I think that she picked out beautiful colors that is it for today's video I hope you liked it this palette is stunning so if you don't want the whole collection make sure you just go pick this up um I don't mind the lips but again they're beautiful colors I just am not the ultra matte fan of Colourpop's formula it's too drying for me but the glossy lip is really pretty but again if you're gonna get anything get this this is really nice it has the colors on the back it has your packaging which is really pretty it has a big square mirror on it and your colors are also on the front which we know I love that so um if you guys like this video just make sure you give it a big thumbs up as always and I will see you next time bye